Hey YouTube, I'm camouflaging today. No face paint on, I need a haircut like crazy. I'm just really a troll. <laughs> this video is about people treat you how you allow them to treat you and not how you allow them to, meaning you can control their behavior, but teaching them what you will and will not accept from their behavior towards you. So for instance, if there's something about someone, like say they, they, they're just really harsh in the things that they say and they're very insensitive and very aggressive in how they talk to you. And if you don't care for profanity and they're always using profanity around you and even calling you out of your name, if that's something that you don't agree with and you let them know that you know you dislike the way they talk to you, and they continue to talk to that way and you continue to, to tolerate it, whether you complain about it or not, or, or have a discussion with them or not, if you voice your dissatisfaction with it and they just continue to do it, then do they really care about how you feel? Um, on, as a personal note, I use profanity, but when I first meet people, I don't. And then I do ask them, does profanity offend you? And if they say it does, I really try not to use profanity. And there's times when I really don't. And when I do, they're like, oh my gosh, did you just say such and such? And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> And so it's really about people respecting your boundaries, your personal boundaries. And so if they really care about you, they will work on changing that behavior and not in the sense that they're trying to change for you, but they're wanting you to be satisfied with the friendship or with the relationship. And if they don't attempt to make that change, they're just telling you that they don't really care. And if it comes to a point where you say, well, I'm not going to you know, keep conversating with you you know, if you're going to continue to, to speak this way around me and speak this way to me, if they continue to do that, then do you think they really care if you're in their life or not, or if you're there for them to talk to or not? Because if you were to decide, okay, I'm not going to deal with this person, and I'm not saying give ultimatums or anything, but if you tell them, okay, well, I don't really want to be around you if you're going to be talking to me this way or calling me out of my name, and they keep doing it and you're still there, they have no reason to change. Like, there's no motivation for them to improve their behavior towards you. But if you were to just walk away, and if they really did want you in their life, hopefully they would think about it and then maybe work on changing that behavior or not. And if not, then they didn't really care enough to even make that effort. To have you in their life and in that instance learn to be okay with just leaving that person alone another example of personal boundaries is if you're not okay with infidelity or if you're not okay with someone lying to you i know numerous people personally who their significant other was unfaithful to them they found out they confronted the person their significant other you know continued to lie oh no you know i'm not doing this i'm not doing that and even when they were given proof of what was going on, they still lied about it. And this is so sad to me. Some of these people are still with the person that cheated on them. Some of them even married the person that they knew was cheating on them before they got married. And so I think to myself, why if you don't want to be cheated on and lied to, why would you still move in with this person? Why would you stay in a relationship with this person? Why would you marry this person? Because they're not going to change. If they know that you know <laughs> that they've cheated and, you know, if you've, you've cried about it, you've begged them to change and, you you know, you're telling them how much you love them and they're asking you to forgive them. They'll never do it again. And you say, okay. And then they continue to do it. That's a cycle of behavior. That's a pattern of behavior. And it's not going to change because they continue doing the same thing because they know that they're not going to lose you. If you'll tolerate them cheating on you, even when you say that you don't want them to do that and you move in and then also you marry this person, there's no incentive for them to not cheat on you because they know you're going to be there. They know they can treat you however they want to treat you for their own selfish benefit and they know that you will stay. And so don't be upset with the other person but just maintain your own personal and your own relational boundaries. Like if you don't want someone that's going to be a cheater, don't stay with somebody who constantly cheats. Don't move in with someone who cheats. Don't marry someone who cheats. And so if you were to leave, like say, for example, okay, you found out someone cheated on you and you're like, I'm not going to stay with you knowing that you're out here being unfaithful to me. 
and they ask you to forgive them and you do and you stay together and then you find out that they cheated again that's when you should walk away okay you promised me you weren't going to do this again and you did and i told you that i'm not going to be with you if you're going to be unfaithful and so i'm leaving in the relationship if you live together find somewhere to go or if they moved in with you pack up their boxes they're on the left <laughs> and tell them they need to go and let them leave and be okay with them leaving if they come back to you and they've really shown a change in behavior or you took your time and rebuilt the friendship with this person and you can tell from their mannerism, you know, they may have even changed their circle of friends because cheaters tend to hang with cheaters, like if they're really into it like that. So if they've changed their friends, if they change the places they go, if they're talking to you in a more respectful way, if they're, you know, really trying to win you back. And it does really seem like this is a lifestyle change for them and not just trying to get you back for, you know, that moment, then give them another chance if you want to. But just be prepared that they may have really changed or they may not. But walk away and give them the chance to show you that they've changed. And it doesn't happen overnight. So if you break up with this person and then like a week later, you know, they're back saying they've changed. It takes longer than a week, especially if you're a chronic cheater. <laughs> it does. And so I'm just saying just maintain your boundaries and don't be afraid to walk away because peace of mind is priceless. If you want to be talked to in a respectful way, don't tolerate someone not talking to you in a respectful way. If you don't want to be cheated on, don't stay with someone who's going to cheat with you. And that's how people learn. And a lot of times I think it starts with when you're dating. If you're seeing these little signs that you may not be compatible with someone, no matter how much you enjoy their company, company no matter how much fun they are to be around, if there's little things creeping up here and there, don't overlook it and don't dismiss it. And I do have a series on here, you know, red flags. I think I'm up to like part six and I do have a few more to do, but it's the little things. And so pay attention to those. Um, someone said, ooh, probably like over 20 years ago, probably about 15 years ago, she had said her mother told her because she was going to get married and her mother had told her, think of the thing that you least like about him and ask yourself you know five or ten years down the road would you still be happy and content to be with them if that one thing never changed and I was like hmm that was really profound very complex and in, in its simplicity <laughs> like if someone <laughs> you know chews loud when they eat that could be the thing you dislike the most Five years from now, is that going to be the one thing that drives you nuts and say, I can't be with you anymore because it just grates my nerves every time you chew? <laughs> and that was a really, <laughs> that was a really weird example, but just something how whatever the one main thing is, can you be content with that five years, 10 years down the road if you stay with this person or if you marry this person or move in with this person? And so that's something to think about. Pay attention to people's behaviors. Pay attention to how they treat you and pay attention to how you feel with how they're reacting and responding to you. The same can be said for people who are physically, verbally, or emotionally abusive. If you even feel like they're that type of way, chances are they are. And people will gaslight you. They will try to manipulate your feelings and have you thinking that you're the one that's crazy for thinking that they're doing such and such or trying to twist your words. Or if you tell them something that you're not happy with, they turn it back around on you. Or if you say, well, I don't like when you do such and such. And they're like, well, I don't like when you do such and such. Like they're not really even hearing you. So if you have this feeling in your gut that you're being gaslighted or um, taken advantage of or abused in any type of way, emotionally, physically, or verbally, I would say mostly emotionally and verbally, because physically, if you're being physically abused, you know when you're being physically abused. You know when someone is treating your body in a way that you don't want them to treat it. Mental abuse and verbal abuse can be a little different. Um, some people do just have like abrasive personalities, and if that's not something that you want to tolerate, then that's something you need to have a discussion with with that person and decide, you know, am I... Will I be content staying with this person if this never changes? Because some people are just certain ways. Well, all of us have our ways. And so that's something to think about too. If you, and I'll say it again, I know I just said it like three times. If you even think you're being abused, chances are you are being abused. And if you're in that situation now, 
I recommend that you get help for yourself, lean on your support system, you know, get professional counseling and figure out an exit strategy if you are living with this person or married to this person because I, I don't believe anybody deserves to be abused. I don't. I don't think anybody deserves to be abused. And so I hope that this makes sense to you, nice, short, and sweet, about people treat you how you allow them to treat you. And the same with the, the abuse. Um, it's the same thing with, you know, how people talk to you. If they are, and I use physical abuse because it's just an easy example. If they're being physically abusive and you continue to stay, they have no reason to to not be physically abusive towards you. I'm sorry. You guys know my face is always oily around my nose area. So it really just goes back to how you want to be treated and not letting someone treat you outside of your personal and relationship boundaries. And it may take professional help for you to figure out what you want to do because it's hard. If you're with somebody for years and years and years and years, or in the case of being abused, if you have trauma in your history, it plays with your psyche. And you may even start to think, or you may think even now if you're watching this, that I deserve to be treated this way. I deserve to be smacked if, you know, I don't wear my, my slippers in the house. Or, you know, I deserve, you know, to be cheated on. No, you don't. You don't. And if you really think you do, I do recommend that you do get help for that. And that you create an exit strategy and know that you are worth more than that and also get involved in support groups too because they will really understand like where you're coming from if your support system doesn't support groups will and so that's a little tidbit and i hope you found this helpful if you have been in situations like this you know let me know how you overcame it and if you are currently in a situation like this and you do just want some feedback you know feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email and we can discuss that way and so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, click like, share, and all that other good stuff. And you will see me in the next video. Bye.